Hi there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. So I wanted to do today a video about Vivant water. I'm gonna actually show you guys the, the famous water bottle, the Nalgene water bottle I've been using for Vivant water. Um, just brought it up there. And I have to be honest and tell you guys that I'm not really making this video to talk about Vivant water. I'm making this video because I have just figured out how to connect two webcams um, using the software that I'm making these videos with. It's called OBS Studio. It's a really, really cool piece of software. Um, I'm using it on Ubuntu, but you can also get it on Windows, um, I think also Mac. And I was doing one about a cellular router, got about two minutes into the video, and then the router stopped working. So on um, V2, attempt number two, um, what I'm actually doing is showing you the Vivance water. Okay, so I've talked about this before in different videos um, about ADHD and my treatment plan for inattentive ADHD. And I've mentioned this thing called Vivance water. Now, before I go any further, gotta mention the uh, disclaimer that this video um, is not a substitute for medical advice. And if you are interested um, in Vivance, then I do encourage you to you know, at least talk to your doctor about the possibility, is this something you could do? Now, I started out on Vivance water because where I live, um, there isn't a 20 milligram Vivance, and that's what my doctor wanted me to start um, on. So there's 30, 50, and 70, but there are also Vivance dosages in 20, 40, and 60 milligrams. Um, so he said, well, just take 30 milligrams, put it in water and discard two thirds of the water and that will allow you to take 20. And I was like, ah, oh, that's so clever. Why can't everybody take Vivance like this? Now, um, there is kind of a bit of a debate, I would say, or it seems like there is to me among doctors regarding their sort of feelings about Vivance water. Some doctors you will find are against it. I did see a public psychiatrist um, who was very much opposed um, and that doesn't make sense to me because, you know, if you go onto Vivance.com, you will see um, Vivance listed um, or Vivance water listed as a thing that people can totally do. Um, so, yeah, again, I'm not really clear exactly why there are some doctors who are just against it, but it does seem to be the case. Um, now, there's not a ton I can say about Vivance water that I haven't already said but um, I thought I would show you guys exactly what I am using for the process and here we will do a fade to the Nalgene bottle. So here it is, um, Nalgene. This is what I picked up recently in the US and if you're an American watching this video I'm sure you've heard of Nalgene. As somebody who grew up in Ireland I had actually never heard of this. Apparently Americans love these things, they're famous um, but it's great because now, the reason I picked this up is I'm using 50 milligrams of Vivance and uh, this has um, levels all the way up to 1000 milliliters, which is one liter. Now, if you think about the system for that I'm using, um, now this label needs to be redone because if I was actually taking 100 milligrams to 100 milliliters, I may not be here making this video. Uh, so it's 10 milligrams to 100, um, but I just did that sort of mostly to warn anybody um i don't you know i don't have roommates um or live in college or have brought this out to somewhere where children are but it would strike me as a concern that i wouldn't want to accidentally drug people and their children you know um so that is that and yeah this one i liked it because i can do if i'm using that same um vivance to water you know uh, formula well i can do 30 i can do 50 milligrams I can do 70, which is the maximum daily uh, dosage for Vivance. And if for some freakish reason, my doctor wanted to put me on a even higher dosage than uh, 70, which by the way, I have heard that happening. Some people have gone above 70, off label, I guess. Then um, I, so I kind of have all those options available to me here. Um, so yeah, that kind of struck me as useful. So it's just Nalgene, but I do, you do want to have milliliter measures. Um, if you're, if you're not, if you're not a chronic overthinker like me, you can probably get away with the 70 
um, 700 milliliter water bottle because you're probably very very unlikely you're going to ever be prescribed more than that five ounce um, more than that amount of five ounce I did like the fact that this one went up to a thousand like some of the ones I saw and it, by the way it was super weird to be in a water bottle store I mean like yeah I need um so I'm gonna need a water bottle with gradations are every 100 milliliters I, it's gonna have to be transparent and um the last notch is gonna have to say a thousand i'm not sure what they thought i was doing but um yeah i did see some that were like went up to 800 and then just said like from here to fill is the top and i just thought that seemed a bit dubious like where exactly is that top fill level so basically if you're trying to pick out a water bottle for water vivance or vivance water however you want to call it um, I just encourage you to get a water bottle that like has clear levels so that you can see exactly what you are taking. Um, what else can I say about this? So yeah, a couple of things, how I use this because people did leave me comments here on YouTube asking, um, can you walk us through the day-to-day -day Vivance water life? And I said, sure, I'd be happy to. Um, number one, I always use the same, um, I always use the same what's that word same rate same rate ratio ratio i always use that 10 to 100 milligram to milliliter ratio um just so that you know if i somehow forget this or i have a kind of just like wedged in my head that is how i do my vivance water um so at the start of every morning i actually it's the night before and i'll that'll be my next piece my next nugget of info um so yeah, I one really good thing about this um, Vivance water before I mention that actually is that you can uh, titrate down on the weekends or vacation. So that's something really useful uh, that you know you couldn't do with the uh, taking it as a pill, which is you know the conventional mechanism. So if I on the weekends wanted to take thirty milligrams, so all I have to do is drink down to. So I start here at five hundred. And what I would do is drink to 200 because each 100 mils of Vivance is, uh, sorry, yeah, each 100 mils of water is 10 milligrams of Vivance. Um, and if I wanted to take 20 milligrams of Vivance, I drink down to 300 mils. And um, I always leave it um, just in case I change my mind. And I'll talk about the what my doctor has allowed me to do in a second. Um, so I, I never throw it out, um, but I always put it there. Um, I always leave it there, and then at the end of the day, I'll rinse out the bottle uh, before I'm going to sleep. Um, so that's just you know common hygiene, basically. But do that. Um, so in terms of what you can do regarding the the next day thing is um, some people really struggle with uh, getting going in the morning. I know that for me is like the ground zero of ADHD. I get up in the morning um, and you know I want to get into my office here and I want to get working um, but I my brain is like procrastinating and just having a hard time getting going so what some people will do is they will make the Vivance um, make up the Vivance water the day before which is what I do so I finish with my dosage rinse my bottle prepare the next day's Vivance water and when you're doing that, again, just really make sure to get all the little bits out. And what some people do is they'll keep it next to their bed. And uh, some people will either have it first thing in the morning or they will take some. Then they'll go back to sleep and set an another alarm clock 40 minutes later. So if you have to get up at 7, set yourself an alarm for 6.20, do your Vivance. And then at 7, the Vivance should be already sort of in your bloodstream a bit. Um, depending on your metabolism and helping you to you know get going with uh, get going with the travails the the things that you need to do in the day um, in order to be productive and all that so um, let me just go and uh, change something here on my screen levels uh, so yeah that is something that a lot of people do and it's a trick that works now um, someone else asked me well what's your dosing regimen do you take it like all at once and what my doctor told me, um, everybody's doctor is a different um, person, I guess, right? And uh, you will find um, different recommendations between medical uh, professionals. Um, what my doc uh, said is that, you know, take it up to 
uh, and he said recommended doing two dosages, no more than two. So that would be, let's say 200 mils and 300 mils or 300 mils and 200 mils. Um, and then making sure that the uh, time between dose one and dose two is never more than four hours. And I'll just explain if I can ever figure this out on my other screen. I'm trying to like prepare the next screen here in OBS and uh, failing prodigiously at that endeavor. Um, I'm trying to get myself and the webcams up on a screen. Uh, I think I need to put the screen at the bottom actually. Well, I'll keep talking while this goes on. Um, so what you can do is do that and then make sure the second dose is not more than four hours after the first dose. Now the reason for that, the rationale there is that Vyvanse is a long acting uh, medication and um but some people still and i put myself in this category they feel like it's just not working for um for long enough right so um if that is you and you're finding that you're just not getting enough time out of the medication then what you can do is um just use this to like extend it a little bit so if you're taking it for you know those um i've just given up on the on what i was trying to do before um if you're taking it for that amount of time um then you can just have it and um, that four hours will extend it a bit. Now, compared to taking Vyvanse as a pill, which I tried a couple of times, um, I found the water-based method uh, so much more, just much, much easier on my system. Um, and I think a good thing about the water method is that like, unless my doctor and I both are missing something major, there's no way to overdose, right? So if you're prescribed, 50 milligrams of Vyvanse that's what goes into the water bottle is 50 milligrams and you're not gonna somehow take 80 milligrams so you might somehow there is a risk that you'll screw up take do a split dose take it too late or um, take on the weekends a smaller dose and then forget that it's medication and not water and accidentally finish off your water bottle at midnight those are all things that could happen but you may be up all night, but um, at least you don't have to worry about exceeding your, your daily prescription. So I think that's something useful. Uh, now, in terms of the, um, the 50 milligrams um, thing, so yeah, basically having the second dose a little bit later will extend it. And in terms of um, what I find from Vyvanse water, it's that, you know, um, it just hits better. When I took the tablet um, or the, the capsule, I guess, to be, to be technical, um, I found that it just hit too hard. And there's two things I found with ADHD meds that you don't want. One, you don't want that feeling of, wait, this is like, this packs a punch, um, which I definitely have um, gotten. Um, and the second thing you don't want is to be in a situation in which uh, you feel like you're on drugs of some nature. And that's also something I've encountered when I was starting medications. And I think that being able to increase um, the daily dosages um, by 10 milligrams at a time has made those increases so much more manageable. Now you could even go up five milligrams using Vyvanse water, which is something, even if you lived in a healthcare system with all seven Vyvanse dosages, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and 70, sorry, that's six, um, you couldn't increase by five milligrams because there just isn't that on the market. So. Um, that's another uh, really um, good use for the Vyvanse water um, and again just be careful to make sure that you stretch out and speak to your doctor that's my recommendation here I'm not offering medical medical advice because I can't um, but I if you know you do um, have a good doctor who you like and um, you're you're finding that that uh, either you think your dose could be a tiny bit lower uh, so you're between dosages between um, the dosages in your country, that's where you feel like you should be, but you just can't get there through tablets. Um, you'd like to try this technique of stretching it out a bit um, by taking the same dose and splitting it up in water so that the second one is pushed out a couple of hours. Um, I can't really think of any other reasons why you might wanna try this, but those are two pretty good reasons, in fact. Um, then I encourage you to just ask your doctor and be prepared for a uh, disagreement to emerge. Like I find that some doctors, uh, you know, will um, really oppose this. Um, other doctors will be fully supportive of this. So it does seem to be the case that you just need to sort of um, either go with your doctor or if you don't think your doctor is being reasonable, 
um, then find one that sort of, I don't know, better, <laughs> better fits, uh, better fits your, is not listening to you or whatever. You might need to go to a different one. Um, so what I'm showing you on this screen now, I just also wanted to show you just what label printer I'm using. So it's this one, the Dymo uh, label printer. It's for sure a basic, lab basic label printer. It's a handheld one. So you just put in some batteries and uh, the labels are like pretty decent. I'm not sure they're actually waterproof, but you get so much tape in a reel that like, if it came off, just print one off. That's my label there and it's peeling a little bit here. Um, you may as well just print a few labels and put a few in your backpack. Um, so if you do this, the split dosage, you might find that you do want to bring your water bottle to the gym or to your office. So I think that's another pretty good reason why you should have this. Just, you know, be aware that if you have this label, then people are going to know you're taking Vyvanse. Uh, so if the kind of warning people um, not to take your medication is, uh, is a concern for you, but you want to don't want to let the world know you have ADHD and you're taking Vyvanse, then you might you could just say I guess medication, um, do not drink or medication. Ten milligrams to one hundred mils without specifying what medication it is. So again, I know I'm this is like tiny stuff, but these are just all things you might want to think about. And yeah, this is a label printer I use. It's very good. It was cheap and um, it does the job that I needed to. Um, so that is that. So um, I know this video has contained really, I guess, just like basic info. Um, as I said, I did this sort of because I wanted to play around a bit with my software, but uh, I figured I'd just share all these details um, because people do seem interested in it. Um, my main thing is just to encourage you to work with your doctor. So um, definitely don't uh, get prescribed Vyvanse for one once daily dosage and then put it in water yourself and take it like eight times a day up to midnight because a you should stick with what your doctor orders and b that would be terrible because you basically have vivance constantly in your bloodstream uh, and probably have a hard time ever sleeping and i doubt that's what you're going for um so yeah that's my use of vivance water i do hope this video was useful uh if you'd like to get more videos from me about ADHD, Vyvanse, Linux, other topics, feel free to subscribe. Thank you guys very much for watching.